Tija, and particularly on the issue of legislative competence, I have four brief points, sir. First, the bill violates the defining feature of a federal democracy, the division of power. It undermines the Delhi Legislative Assembly and the Delhi government. And by trying to supersede the Supreme Court's decision on the matter, the union government appears to undermine the constitutional principle of federalism. Number two, sir, just four quick points. Sankship Nawura. Number two, the bill infringes the principle of representative democracy, which is a basic feature of the Constitution. The legislators are accountable to their electorate. The electorate must have a say in who governs them. If the Delhi government is not able to control and hold to account the officers the posted Arman in its service, sir, yeah. the fact is that it's, a, it's their responsibility the legislature cannot be fulfilled. The principle of collective responsibility extends to the responsibility, the sir, Arman of the government sir. for its own officers. Sir. You cannot give bureaucrats sir, the authority that belongs to elect... I am before you, sir. I am before you. Sir, sir, actually, the government is there by day. Sir, I'm asking, sir. What is it? What the Supreme Court said? The Supreme Court was said in the judgment handed over the control of services in Delhi, excluding police, public order, and land to the elected government. Sir, this is an elected government. A government elected by people. Not once, twice, it has been elected. And what do you want to do? You cannot do it. Where, why, where, what is it's your formula? The formula followed by the Home Minister is simple. Wherever BGP can't win, we will put send the ED. We'll send the CBI. The Supreme Court said you cannot extend the term of the enforcement director more than thrice. They said July 31st was a lot day. But you went back. You said the administrative power is so important. He's the only man who can deliver fatwa. He has to be. And you got extension from the Supreme Court. That means you know the importance of administration. Administration should be power in control of the elected government. Not, should, should, not, should not be a puppet. We should not be a puppet in your hands. You can't take it. The Supreme Court made it very, very clear, sir, that the services should come. Sir, now what they have done, sir? Now, they have brought ordinance. Sir, the very fact they brought an ordinance after, very immediately, after the Supreme Court gave a ruling in favor. Sir, we agree with you. A parliament is the most authority in making laws. That's the reason we are called lawmakers. But when any law is made here, you should make sure that we have the right to speak. And right to say, if you are bringing a wrong law, we have to say you are bringing a law. Here, your intentions are very, very clear. You, our intention is to control the Delhi government. Sir, why? Why is that? When you comes to you, you want your administrative to be extended, give extension. So one of your members spoke that none of the promises made by how army has been delivered. How can it be delivered? You always trifle the officers. You never allow the officers to function. How will the officers, without the officers functioning, how can they deliver? Because you want to use this as an election platform to say, this is government never did. Sir, this is not the way to do it. And again, sir, please, do not talk about alliances. It is, in Tamil, say, Satan, Veda Modi. It's like the Saturn, uh, what is scriptures? Sir, you have got into unholy alliances. You take care of your family, sir, your party. We know how to take care of our alliance party, and India is very strong, sir. Next, 2024, you might be here, and we will be there. We will be there, sir. And we, sir, whatever you're using, whatever you're abusing, will not abuse. We'll make sure the CBI and enforcement income tax behave properly and do their po do jobs properly. Unlike you, whatever you have been doing, they'll do it rightly. And that time we'll see who has the last laugh, sir. Sir, in this law, which they are bringing, sir, they have ensured that they, there will be no longer Section 3A. Basically, Supreme Court got a 3A. Means, and so they have ensured the Section 3A doesn't prevail in this. Sir, and next thing is this. I also would like to know, sir. Sir, in the statements of law, why are they bringing it? The Honorable Home Minister has made said, the proposed act mandates creation of three member committees, sir, and is also saying that, sir, basically it wants to say that it is bringing because Delhi is very, very important part of the country. Delhi is the heart of the country. The Delhi, all this, every foreign countries have their embassies here. Security is very important. We have to ensure that this big, make sure that local government doesn't come and disturb it. Sir, anyway, the National Capital Region Security is with you. Who is in charge of the National Capital Region Security? The Home Ministry, not the, uh, the state government. And why I don't understand. 
if something wrong is happening in law and order, you are responsible. Nobody else is responsible. Don't try to shy away your responsibility. If rape is happening in Delhi, it's you because your law, your law and order is weak. If decoity is happening in Delhi, it's because your law and order is not good. Sir, let me say they formed a committee now. The committee consists of the chief secretary, uh, uh, principal, uh, principal home secretary, and the chief minister. Sir, two of the, out of three members, two members are appointed by them. Uh, then there's a quorum is only two. Tomorrow the chief minister may not be there. The chief minister is traveling abroad or so traveling away. These two people decide which officer can work there. Even then, sir, after all this, even the three of them sit together and by some uh, miracle, they come to a conclusion that decision can be overruled by the Legion <laughs> Council. What is the point? What is the point? You're saying that you're giving powers, but you're not giving powers. You're showing the lollipop, making sure the kid stops crying and taking back the lollipop. <laughs> so that is what you're doing. Sir, throughout, I will say, the last nine years, you have been making monsters, devils, out of the out of governors and looting governors. No, and, okay. but the constitutional heads yes, which yes. are being appointed by the union home ministry are becoming more uh, dangerous for the development of every state. This is not only for West Bengal, for uh, not for for, no, Kerala, please conclude. for Tamil Nadu, sir. I can tell you, sir, in my own state, sir, uh, the governor, because when, as long as okay, okay, state, now please conclude. I'm sorry, I'm, sir, sir, I'm the only speaker. You can't. You say, mom says, sir. I never say, sir. All I'm okay, saying, okay. sir. Sir, don't control me, sir. Sir, you have to be neutral. We have been very clearly saying that the no state governments need a governor. Sir, right from our founder, Sir Anna Adore, in this house, I said that, that in this house has been recorded that as much as a goat doesn't need a beard, okay. so does the state doesn't need a government, go governor. Sir, it is me. Sir, more than, sir, I would like to say 13 bills are sitting idle for in the governor's uh, chambers. What reasons? No one knows. Sir, sir, no. I vehemently oppose. Sir, I vehemently oppose the government of National Capital Territory of Delhi Amendment Bill 2023 on three grounds. You to say the rules, right? We have to say the rules. We have to say the rules. Sir, Rule 72, two of the rules of procedure and conduct of business in Lok Sabha. I am questioning the legislative competence of the government in having the legislation of the bill number one. Sir, it is against the principles of federalism which is being envisaged by the constitution of India. Sir, federalism is one of the basic features of Indian constitution. An elected government in the state of Delhi, it is not having the administrative and legislative control over the bureaucrats means the government has, there is no meaning in having the government of Delhi. That is why I am saying that it is absolutely taking away, sir, taking away the administrative and legislative control by the bureaucrats and the political bureau, sorry, the political leadership and the elected... No, sir, no. sir, 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 please, second point, second... Kya sunne aap ki? Aap 72 ke niyam mein bolo, vivaastha de raho aapko. Peet se ek nirdesh jaye, ki ye jo bill hai, substantive policy nahi hai, aur ye jo call and shagdar ka jo likha hai, ki when a leave of house to the moving of a motion has been granted, no substantive motion on policy matter is to be brought before the house by the government till the motion of no confidence has been disposed of. Okay. Motion of disconfidence has not been disposed of. This is a substantive policy. It is illegal. Okay. It will be challenged. And this has no merit, sir. Now ruling DJ, Capital Territory of Delhi. Delhi Amendment Bill 2023. As has been mentioned before, that this bill is well outside the legislative competence of Parliament. Because the Supreme Court, in a past a judgment in CA number 2357 of 2017, on 11th May 2023, in the matter of government of NCT of Delhi versus Union of India. Now, to override the Supreme Court judgment, the government has brought forward a bill. This is totally autocratic. It abrogates. Sir, ho jage, sir, sir, ab Prem Chandran ko char bar mokha diya. Mujhe bhi ek do baad di di. Sir, 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 complete. Sir, I want to say 
that this is total abrogation of the legislative power of the Union Capital Territory of Delhi under Article okay. 239 of the Constitution. Thank you, sir. I stand here to oppose the bill brought by the Honorable Home Minister. So the bill is about elected versus the selected. India's a democracy, not a dictatorship as yet. So how an elected government is being demeaned and is going to be run by the selected is my humble question to this government of India right now. The bill is completely undemocratic, unconstitutional, and it's completely against the spirit of cooperative federalism. My learned friend, Milakshi Lekhiji, has just left. She was talking about cooperative federalism and telling, talking about control. I was surprised that in a democracy there's control, control. So I was slightly confused because these kind of committees are only in countries like China. I don't think India has this kind of control because I still believe it's a democracy. And while she was talking and running down cooperative federalism, I would like to remind her from the BJP, the Honorable Arun Jaitley ji, who I really miss in this house, always eloquently talked about cooperative federalism and how much they wanted to work with the states and empower states and that's the beauty of India. And she was talking completely against what the BJP original or maybe this is 2.0 has a different view. I think I need to know the clarification. I don't know whether that's a generation gap. But in a democracy, control is not the right word. It's a dictatorship which is the right word. The other thing which I wanted to ask her, she was talking in her speech that there is, it is, it's not a full state. I want to very humbly submit to the BJP and ask them in their manifesto every Delhi election. The BJP has always asked for a full statehood of Delhi. If I'm wrong, I stand corrected. Anybody can challenge me on this. I'm willing to take my speech back. So when you're talking about a full statehood, so were you lying in the manifesto? Are you lying to the people in parliament? Parliament is supreme. The Honorable Prime Minister calls it the temple of democracy. So how dare you lie in a temple of democracy? Or are you lying? Then stand up and admit that we the manifesto, we didn't have this. And we have to apologize to the government because they have lied to the nation. I want the clear clarification from the Honorable M. Minister. I want the clear clarification from the Honorable M. Minister. Another small question. When they talk about full statehood, sir, in the manifesto, they are talking about full statehood for BJP. I, I want the clarification from the BJP. There are two more questions I want to ask technically, which my friend Pinaki Mishra, I think, has just left. I want to ask this question because the Honorable Home Minister talked about it. He said in, two, in Article 239A7, empowers the Parliament to make a law to supplement the provision contained in Article not to violate. And he, in this same reference, said that this will have to go back to the Supreme Court, which is three kilometers away. If it's going to get back and there is ambiguity in it, then why are we discussing this and wasting our time? Yes. So this is a clarification government chair because the Honorable Home Minister also talked about 239AA7 and so did Pinaki Mishra who is supporting this but still saying it will go back because there is ambiguity. So then what is the importance and relevance of parliament? Can we get a clear clarification because it is confusing all of us. Another thing, point about the same thing about article 239AA. It says in parliament does not enjoy concurrent powers of law making at the issue services under the entry 41 list 2, but no exercise of concurrent powers allows the parliament to withdraw the same power from the Delhi government. What does this mean, sir? What? I mean, what? it's a complete contradiction. So if what we are discussing is going to get struck down, whose ego are we pandering here? Who are we intimidating here is my question to this government. Another few questions I want to ask. They talked about Delhi Services Authority. Delhi Service Authority, I have three questions. This is similar to the China model, sir. In Clause 45B, the, my question to them is the committees of three people. Majority wins so far in a democracy, unless it will change to a dictatorship, I'm not sure. By the way, I, the, the people in the power are intimidating us all the time. The but we want to ask them, mother of democracy. My question to them is that if there are three people and majority wins, two secretaries versus one chief minister. So if the elected chief minister who is elected by the people of Delhi is vetoed by two secretaries, appointed. then what happened? Appointed, appointed with the side. So selected appointed. versus 
appointed. Appointed. See, there you go. Appointed. My second question to the government is: so will the chief minister be rejected? My first question. My second question is: will the two officers overturn the power of a chief minister? Is my question to this government. One more question: Can the LG rule? Yes. What the honourable chief minister has decided? He can overrule. What is this? So then, that leaves the government powerless. Then why have a government in Delhi? Is this what the final agenda is? So this is my clear three questions to no no two mark two small questions which I really need a clarification. Just two minutes, sir. See, बड़ी विनम्रता से मैं सरकार को पूछना चाहती हूँ बड़ी विनम्रता से. They talked about morality, which is a good thing. Morality तो होनी चाहिए. और हमेशा बीजेपी हमको कहती है 2014-19 में डंके की चोट पे हमको जनादेश दिया था. अच्छी बात है. Congratulations, it's a democracy. आप जीते हैं हमारे हम मानते हैं. फिर केजरीवाल जी को एक रूल और इनको के एक रूल ऐसे कैसे अगर इस देश के इस दिल्ली ने जनादेश अगर अरविंद केजरीवाल को दिया है तो वो गलत है लेकिन इनको जनादेश जब मिलता है वो पॉपुलैरिटी है ये कौन सा न्याय होता है तो ये लोकतंत्र है ये कहते हैं केजरीवाल जी को दिल्ली भी मिली और पंजाब भी मिला हाँ मिला बट लोकतंत्र है ये सर सो वेदर यू लाइक इट और नॉट टूडे Whether anybody likes it or not, today Punjab and Delhi is ruled by Aam Aadmi Party and not by rigging any election. And if Minakshi Lekhi ji said rig or a election, then what was your government doing? Phir, you are saying Punjab was rigged, was Delhi rigged? Is my question to the government. I want to ask.